Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to use gradient descent algorithm to update the weights in a neural network. Also, I will discuss how to derive the delta rule for gradient descent algorithm. In the previous videos, I have discussed the perceptron rule. A perceptron rule is used to find the successful weight vector to classify the linearly separable training examples. That is, uh, we can use this uh, perceptron rule if the training examples are linearly separable. If they are not linearly separable, we cannot use perceptron rule. So first we will see what is uh, linearly separable and non-linearly separable. In the first example, you can see here, if I draw a line, I will be able to classify this particular data successfully. There is one set of data with the plus and another set of data with minus. So I am able to classify this particular data successfully. But if I go with the second one, if I draw a straight line in this case, I am not able to classify this particular data successfully over here. So such kind of data is called as non-linearly separable. And whenever we use perceptron rule on such kind of data, the perceptron rule will fail here. So in such case, we need to use other rule that is called as a delta rule or it's also called as gradient descent algorithm in this case. With the help of gradient descent algorithm, we can classify the non-linearly separable data successfully in this case. Gradient descent looks something like this. Uh, this is uh, the weight uh, and this is uh, the cost over here or you can say that the error. What we need to do is uh, we need to initialize uh, the set of weights initially. Uh, the weight should be a small number. Once you initialize the weight, we need to use this particular equation to find the error term. That is nothing but the cost of that particular uh, weights. So error term is uh, something like this, uh, half the square difference between target and uh, calculated output or all training examples. So once you calculate this particular error term, uh, you may get uh, the error uh, somewhere here. We cannot say that always here. Let us assume that we got the error here. So when you get the error here, uh, for this particular error, the weights are pointing here. Okay. Now, there may be some other cases. Uh, let us say that you have initialized some weights and the error is pointing here. In such cases, the weight will be over here. Now, if you look at these two different points, uh, we, if the error is over here or you can say that for some set of weights, if the error is over here or for some other set of weights, the error is here. This particular thing is we want to come towards this particular thing or in this case also we want to come towards this particular side. So, what actually we need to do here is we need to reduce this particular error. If you want to reduce this particular error, you need to modify the weights. In this case, you need to increase the weights because you need to go towards this side. So, you need to increase the weights. And when you have this particular thing, you have to decrease this particular weights because you have to come to this particular level over here. There is one very important uh, point you can remember here. We want to come towards this one that is nothing but a negative slope. And this particular line, this is a positive slope over here because we have this particular line. You can say that if you draw a line over here, it looks like the line is increasing in this case. If I draw a line over here, the line is decreasing in this case. So that's the reason it is called as negative slope. And this is called as a positive slope over here. Now the intention is what? We need to get some set of weights which will point here. So if you want to get this particular weights, if initially the weights are pointing here, we have to increase them. If it is pointing here, we need to decrease them. Now how to do that particular thing? So this is the main equation to update the weights. That is uh, weight is always equal to weight plus uh, delta wi, where delta wi is equal to minus n, where n is the learning rate, multiplied by the differentiation of this particular error term that is nothing but a, we want to reduce this particular slope over here. Now the question here is uh, why we have taken minus here. We have taken minus because if the initially the weights are pointing here and we are getting error here. Now what is, uh, we have to do? We have to increase this particular weight. Now see how actually it works. Because this particular uh, error is pointing here, we want to reduce this particular error. The meaning is it's a negative slope here. Because negative slope, this particular term, this one will become a negative number. Negative minus negative will become positive here. So this entire term will become positive. That is nothing but this one is positive. We are adding something to the weights here so that we will get the modified weights. So what we are doing, we are adding that is nothing but we are increasing the weights over here. If initially the weight is pointing over here, what will happen in that case? The slope is nothing but it's a positive slope here because it is increasing in this particular case. So what actually we need to do is uh, uh, this is positive here and this positive and multiplied by negative is will become negative in this case. 
So the entire term is negative. The meaning is we are subtracting something from this particular old weight to get the new weights. That is nothing but we are decrementing the weights over here. So that is how actually this particular uh, delta term uh, came into picture here. Now, uh, I hope you understood why we have taken uh, minus in this particular case. And this is an error term. That's not uh, something great over here. But what about this particular n? n is a learning rate in this case. What is learning rate is, for example, uh, we want to reduce this particular weight uh, uh, error by increasing this particular weights here or we want to reduce the error by decreasing this particular weights here. But what is the amount by which we want to increase or decrease this particular weights? If, if you set this particular n is equal to 1 or something like that uh, or can say a very high number, uh, what will happen is initially you may get error over here. Next time it will jump to this particular thing, it will go this side and then it will come this side and then it will go here and so on. So what will actually happens in this particular case is it will never come to this particular the final winning position here. So because of that, what we need to do is we need to set this particular uh, learning rate to a very small number, for example, 0 0.01 or something like that. Initially, if it is pointing here, the next uh, error will come here, the next error will come over here, next error will come over here, and finally, we reach this particular, the point here. And if I set a very small number, it will take a lot of iteration to come over here. If I set a very large number, it will shift from here to here and it may not come to this particular position here. So we need to do some hyperparameter tuning and then we need to set this particular learning rate to some value so that we can go on reducing this particular error term and then we will reach this particular the winning position over here. So that's another term we need to remember when it comes to gradient descent rule over here. Now coming back to the next one like uh, this error term that is uh, differentiation of error with respect to, to weight. So we need to do this particular thing then only we will be able to get the final weights because we know the original weight. We want to add this particular uh, the change in weights. For that uh, n is known to us. This is a negative term is also known to us. But what is this one? So we need to do some derivation over here or differentiation over here. So that is the thing here. This is the error term. Uh, the differentiation looks something like this one. Differentiation of error with respect to, to weights here. That is differentiation of error term with respect to, to weight. So in this particular case, uh, 1 by 2 is a constant. I will keep it outside. And uh, this one will become something like this one. Summation, I will keep it as it is. I am not going to do anything here. So differentiation of this particular term, this one. So if you consider this particular thing as just an x, it will become x square here. So differentiation of x square is what? 2 times x. So 2 times x over here. And a differentiation of this particular x. That is nothing but differentiation of td minus od over here. And this particular 2 and this 2 will get cancelled. We will left with the summation of uh, d over d, td minus od. This uh, uh, differentiation term, but in this case, you can see here, what is this TD? T is nothing but a target here and uh, whatever the target is there, it will never change. Target will always same, input will always same. Uh, only thing what will change over here is the weight will change. So that's the reason uh, we don't do anything over here because if I do the differentiation of this particular constant term, uh, it will become zero. Okay, so that's the reason we don't do anything here. But what about this particular thing, OD? OD is nothing but what output with respect to dth example. So how to find the output? Output is calculated something like this in gradient descent. That is, uh, it's a, a linear combination of weight and uh, input in this case. That is, uh, it is a bias term where the input is 1, w1, x1, w2, x2 till wn, xn. That is the output here for uh, one input in general. If it is the dth uh, input, it will be uh, weight vector multiplied by that input in that case. Okay, so that is written over here. Uh, this is w, w vector and x vector. Uh, for uh, x input, if it is xd, it will become w vector xd vector in this particular case. Now, uh, differentiation of this td, as I said earlier, it will become 0. Ne differentiation of this term, that will minus over here. Differentiation of uh, w with respect to w is what? That is 1 in that case, xd will remain as it is in this case. Now, uh, this is the final, uh, what we can say that uh, the differentiation of error with respect to wi and uh, we know that the delta wi is equal to minus n differentiation of error term with respect to, to wi. So different, uh, this delta term will look something like this one. This is the delta term. So wi is equal to wi plus delta wi. We need to use this equation over here. Now in this equation, n is known to us. Target is known to us. The output with respect to, to dth example, we need to calculate. That is also known to us. The input is known to us. If I know all these particular variables, I can put all those things over here so that I will get the final, the updated weight in this particular case.
So this is a very simple process we need to follow uh, so that we can get the delta rule uh, with respect to gradient descent in this case. So in this video, I have discussed what is uh, gradient descent, uh, when to use gradient descent uh, and how to do the derivation with respect to gradient descent in this case. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.